It's time for Geek Mania with Eric Sky. There, Sun Fam, and welcome back to a episode of Geek Mania here with Eric Sky. Now, I know uh, I missed out on last week's episode, but we're gonna do another quick change here. So Nick will be taking on one day. Uh, off Geek Mania, where he will be explaining to you about supers, and I will be taking on one day where I'll be explaining to you about your favorite anime characters. So, yeah, it's gonna get a lot exciting right now, and we're gonna have a lot more great content coming up for you, so just stay tuned with that, and with that, let's get on with today's video. First off, I'm gonna go off with a favorite anime character of mine. Now, listen, guys, if you have anime characters or anime or movies or supers that you guys want us to talk about you know where to hit us up of course it's always on the comments section the comments are always open make sure you also subscribe to this video and check out the awesome awesome other content we got here on Sun FM but with that if you have a special uh, character or someone or an anime that you want us to watch it's always double seven two ninety nine ninety nine what's up us and let us know whenever me and Nick are on the air. You guys are not going to regret us talking about We go totally crazy when it comes to this. So just hit us up and let us know what your anime character is this. And with that, we're going into today's character, which is, of course, a favorite of mine from one of my most precious and loved anime. The character that I've got for you today is, of course, from the anime called Hyoka. And Hyoka is one which I believe a lot of you, if you're into the slice of life genre, if you're a bit introverted, and if you're looking for something laid back with great quality, some taste, then Hyoka is for you. Go check out Hyoka. It is an absolutely beautiful anime. The manga is a bit more descriptive, and you should definitely read it out if you want to get more of the, you know, uh, unidentifiable cryptic details a bit more expressed. But the anime is absolute gold. It is also one of the animes in which the English dub actually sounds a bit more soothing than the uh, original sub. But the sub and dub are two things that you guys got to check out. Make sure you go check out Hyoka, and to the day's main characters, of course, Hotaro! Hotaro Araki from Hyoka's main lineup. Hotaro is basically your everyday uh, introvert dream, isn't that right, buddy? Well, he doesn't like to talk much, and that's about him. A uh, bit about Hotaro is that throughout the anime, it's more of a growth in character. Now, there are four main characters and each one grows in a specific way, but Hotaro mainly shows him up. Uh, it's a bit more, he's a very intellectual person. Now, uh, when he takes on an academic vibe, especially since the entire anime is based on a school, he ranks somewhere in the middle, but when it comes to uh, a bit being more analytical, thinking of problems out of the box, Hotaru ranks a leagues ahead of even some of the greatest detectives of the time. So go check it out. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the anime at all for you, but you got to check it out. Uh, his superpowers include, well, basically his intellect, but it's not a superpower. It's more of an advanced thinking process, and it's mainly attributed to his introverted nature. So if you're an introvert, Hotaro is the person for you, the role model that you should probably strive for if you're looking for that introverted personality. Uh, he keeps to himself, he doesn't like a lot of talk, he prefers not to have small talk, he only likes to keep a close circle of friends, and it's something that he values. He values that close circle of friends, and I think that's something that... And also, you know Eric Sky is the love master here, so I'm just saying... If you love those few people in your life, show a little more appreciation. And Hotaro, throughout the series, grows to appreciate those friends a lot more than he already originally had. That being said, I gotta mention that Hotaro also uh, is very uh, sees his friends and those who are close to him a bit more enlightened form. That is because he can sense the aura of each person 
that he interacts with. Uh, it's more uh, special when it comes to Chitanda, because he sees Chitanda in a different light. He sees his best friend Satoshi in a different light. So, yeah, Hotaro is kind of the guy, because uh, he keeps to himself most of the time, he can read people much better than most of his other friends or his contemporaries. So, definitely a must-watch for the enemy Hyuka. And for all of you introverts out there, Hotaro is the guy for you when you want to strive, uh, when you want a level of introversy that, you know, is very on a top G level or maybe on a top Sigma level. So, yeah, Hotaro is definitely the character. So go watch Hyoka and check it out. And with that, we're coming to a close here on our anime uh, character of the week recap. Thank you so much for uh, always joining in our videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it, and also definitely never forget to tune in to your favorite station that is of course Sun 989, 987 Island Wide and around the world on Sunfm.io. Okay, check out that awesome content that we got there going for you and I'll definitely do an article about uh, what we recap. Me and Nick will definitely do an article on what we recap here on Geek Gaming so you guys can definitely go check it out. And let's not forget the Sunfam love, so let us know uh, what characters or what you want to talk about on our numbers 11234675 whenever me or Nick are on air or on 772 or just drop a comment and let us know. All right, with that, let's head out. This is Eric Sky signing out from this episode of Geek Mania. Live, laugh, love, and always, always reach for the skies.